so far what we have been seeing is this what we are seeing is the error so let's look at some of the terminologies that we'll be using when we uh, discuss the errors and exceptions so here in the same example that we just saw the last line tells what happened and that's where the name of the exp exception is written in the red color uh, then colon after that what we have here is the description or details of the exception and above that inside of these green box what we see is it, it tells us what exactly happened and that information is from the traceback so it's the stack traceback source lines that's what those are called and that gives a, a detailed information about where things went wrong or where po possibly things may have gone wrong that we could look into so these are the terminologies that's the error that's the description on uh, description of the error and uh, what your is in this block that's the traceback now another word that i uh, will be using is called handling and what handling is referring to is if there is an error what do we do about it so, or do we do something to either acknowledge that error or print out that error or do something about that error uh, and that that's what handling refers to. and we'll see several examples of these as we go oh, here what we have in the code is a while loop that has a try except block and this is a new terminology again the reason why we are writing a try except block is if if uh, let's imagine a code where uh, where we have just this type of code where we have a while loop and inside of the while loop we have this x is equal to int input please enter a number that uh, that what that does is it creates a, a text box a text input box in Jupyter notebook and you can enter a number there and that will get printed out please enter a number and you'll see the number there but in case in if you enter a character such as abc then it will throw this error value error so again this is the traceback here we have the name of the error and here we have the description of the error the description says invalid literal for int with base 10 abc so it's not expecting the abc it's ex expecting an integer value and so what we can do is we can put this line of code into uh, it into a try block and what the try block suggests as we see here is if there is an error then we'll have an opportunity to do something about uh, something about that and that's whatever we are going to do is going to be put in the except block that follows the try block and so in so here's the example of that let's say we have the same statement inside of the try block and the except uh, we have to remember that the except block always follows the try block so there is first we have the try block then we have the except block so if we input a value that is an integer value such as shown here we input a value of 12 then there is no error and so the except block is ignored because there is no error however if we input a value such as a character a b c then what that will do is that that will uh, generate an error it will raise an error and what the except block or clause is trying to do here it sort of catches the error that was created in the try block and if the error that is created in the try block if it matches this error that we have written in the except clause then it will execute what's inside of that except clause and here we know that it's a value error as we saw earlier this is a value error and so if we have a except clause that has the exception uh, name a uh, value error then it will catch that and this block will get executed and so now what we have is uh, 
the print statement getting executed that's inside of this Excel block. And so the our final output we have please enter number that's what we entered in the try block. And then we have the print statement from the Excel block. Oops, that was not a valid number. Try again. So rather than getting a error like this for the user. If we use the try accept, then we can give some uh, additional information about what the error is or what needs to be done about the error. So here we are, we can say that uh, if an, you need to in, input a valid number for this to run correctly, and that is more helpful of, uh, as opposed to this. This is also helpful if you know how to read the error, but this is certainly a little easier. So th that's just one way to uh, explain the importance of, of the accept clause and the try block, so try accept combination. And uh, so now getting into handling exceptions, uh, as uh, we talked about earlier, this is the try clause, that's the code inside of the try block, so which is this one. And this is the accept clause, which is the uh, code inside of the accept block. And th those are the terminologies we are going to continue to use. So whenever we run the code that has the try accept blocks, try accept statements, then first the try block, the code inside of the try block gets executed. If there is no exception, that is if there is no error, in the code that's within the try block, only then the accept uh, block is skipped and the code will continue to run uh, on the lines that, that are after the accept block is there. However, if the try block creates an error for some reason, uh, uh, that is to say if there is an exception that is raised when the code inside of the try block runs, then the accept block will be triggered. And if the exception or the name of the error that is mentioned in the accept statement, if it matches with the type of error that was generated or raised in the try block, then that block is executed, else it will move on and uh, uh, print out or output an error that was created in the try block. So we'll talk about handled and uh, hand errors that are exceptions that are handled and exceptions that are not handled shortly. So uh, just to mention again briefly, if we have the name of the exception that was generated in the try block mentioned here in the accept statement, then we are saying that that error is handled. So we are doing something about it by the code inside of the accept. However, if uh, an error generated in, let's say the try block is not mentioned here in the accept block or there is no accept block that uh, kind of, that handles the error generated in the try block, then we say that the error was not handled. And that's all this entire uh, series or this discussion is about is to uh, be able to catch an error that happens in the code and try to process it or sort of try to get more information about it and show that in the output. 